I've decided this year is going to be my year to make money. I'm tired of being broke. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Telling you, man, my money just talks to me. Says things like, see ya. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. And I see where some people make so much money like boxers. I read where Hollyfield was offered $30 million to fight Mike Tyson before he got put in jail. $30 million for one fight. If you budget, you can live off that kind of money. <laughs> but who wouldn't you fight for $30 million? For 12 5 I kick my mama's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'd wear her out, man. Because you know if you give her half, she's going to forgive you. You could body slam her right there in the ring. She's like, that's okay, baby. We getting paid. <laughs> I'm married. My wife wants to have kids, and that takes money. I'm thinking about adopting, though. I want to adopt a white child and name him nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, turn off that TV. This is my house, nigga. <laughs> Just so I can make sure at least one white person in the world knows how jacked up that is, man. <laughs> I come from a musical family. I used to be a church musician. I used to play organ in a down-home gospel church. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. The type of church you go to at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, you don't get out till like 3 o'clock. <laughs> Monday afternoon. <laughs> you leave your butt be sore, you be broke. Church service would start out with a church sister whose job it was to sing. And she'd be full of the spirit before she ever hit the mic. She'd be like... going for 20 minutes, I'd be in the organ going, stop, woman, I'm getting cramps. <laughs> Some of the preachers are way out there, though. Y'all have to be a congregation for me. Let me hear you say, yeah. yeah. Give me one of those good old Baptist moans. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is the Reverend Brother Pastor, Deacon Dr. Doug. And I want to talk to y'all this evening. I want y'all to know that there is sin in the city. Somebody asked me once, they said, Rev, where exactly is this sin that's in the city? And I want y'all to know you don't have to look far because it's right outside your door. But if you want to come to this church, you can't sin no more. You got to leave it outside. Let me hear you say, leave it outside. Leave it outside. I said, you can run, but you can't hide. And when you come in this church, you leave your sins outside. Say, leave it outside. Leave it outside. You can't bring your wild women in this church. You got to leave it outside. Leave it outside. You can't bring your dirty, filthy minds in this church. You got to leave it outside. Leave it outside. You can't bring your drugs and alcohol in here. You got to leave it outside. Leave it outside. And you can count on me, because I ain't never lied. And when you need me, you can find me, because I'll be right outside. <laughs> can I get an amen? amen? Let the congregation say, boom, shakalakalak. Boom, shakalakalak. Right on, I've been Doug Sarks.